What's up everyone, Lindsay here. I'm sure many of you are aware that Black Ops 2 dropped worldwide and you're probably running on very little sleep and an energy drink high. While shooting zombies in multiplayer is flipping awesome, I wanted to share some information about the campaign for those who like to go solo. The single player campaign features two connected storylines, one set in the 1970s and the other in 2025. Original Black Ops protagonist Alex Mason returns in the Cold War section where he will be fighting in proxy wars for the United States. Within this section, you will also learn the rise to infamy of the game's primary antagonist, Raul Menendez, a Nicaraguan terrorist and the leader of Cortes DA. It is not too late to seek a newer world. Mason's friend and colleague Frank Woods will return and narrate the story into the 2025 section of the game. In the 2025 section, you play as Alex Mason's son, David. After a cyber attack cripples the Chinese stock exchange, China bans the export of rare earth elements, which in turn lead to a new Cold War between China and the United States. Because of 2025, war is defined by robotics, cyber warfare, unmanned vehicles, and futuristic technology. The future is now. Taking advantage of this moment in history, Raul Menendez attempts to bring the two powers into a full-blown war by creating conflicts between the two countries. This section of the game is said to take place in Los Angeles, Singapore, and Yemen. Without giving away too many spoilers, I thought it was necessary for the single-player fans to see what was in this game for them, as sometimes the needs of the lone player are overlooked in the hype of multiplayer mayhem. I feel you, my bros. Solidarity. Black Ops 2 is available in fine retail establishments worldwide. Thanks for watching. Game on.